Hey guys, it's that time of the show again, brought to you by Moscone Clayton, where we're going to talk about DSP quick tips. Today we're going to talk to you about entering the distance for delay. You're going to hit Alt-M on your keyboard, it's going to bring up this measured tab, and when you click on it, it's going to bring up this page here. This is where a lot of the new features like Barney are done. If you're on the other side, it just has a column there, and it asks you to do your math. At that point, you'd have to take measurements, and you'd have to figure out how far you are, and then you have to convert over milliseconds of delay. Most DSPs have some kind of a calculator built into them, and this is where Moscone hides theirs, is on the delay measured page. What we have here is some measurements. We're gonna add in inches. So it asks you, do you wanna enter in inches? And you say yes, we'll say 36. It'll automatically calculate the delay for you. 50 over here, 37 for the mid-range, 51. Now, some DSPs are gonna want you to do what's called basic subtraction, meaning you're gonna take the farthest speaker and you're gonna to subtract everything from that and get the numbers that way. For example, this speaker here is 49 inches away. This is the farthest speaker out. So you would then subtract 36 from 49 and take that number, which is seven, and you're gonna actually enter the number seven. And where 49 is, is you're gonna enter zero. There's gonna be zero milliseconds delay on that speaker because that's your farthest speaker. Come over and add in the last measurement. It's gone through and it's figured out the time in milliseconds in these yellow boxes here. Calculate values and send to DSP. Exit out of here and we go back to preset one. All of those numbers are entered into our delay right here. This is where it gets kind of fun. You'll notice these boxes here that say A, B, A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, C, D. And then you'll see these boxes down here. What this is used for is Let's say I want to adjust just the driver's side speakers. Come down here and I can unclick B. A is the only one highlighted in this bottom box. If I go and tap that, you'll notice that just the A group is adjusting. This is called group delay. So for example, if I'm sitting in the car, for some reason my center is off and I'm like, eh, something sounds weird. Keep in mind that tape measure is always right. Three inches is always three inches. Mm -hmm. However, depending on where you measured in the headrest or whether you compensated for the grill, there's an opportunity for a couple inches of variation there. And so not always do you get the numbers pinpoint accurate. Sometimes you have to go in and you can play with it and just add a couple more or delete a couple more. All it's doing is adjusting that one side. The other thing that is most important when adjusting is that if you're a solid, like, no, no, I am pinpoint accurate. My numbers are perfect. Why do I still have a problem? Well, I come over to this next group right here where it says levels of DB and I deselect B. If I go and I adjust here, it's gonna take the volume down. Most of the time when you're adjusting a miscalculation in your center image and time delay, it's a volume issue because this tweeter, this mid-range, this mid-base are all closer to you. So you have to compensate for that somehow. Group delay is one of the really cool features that is available on more advanced DSPs. That has been the basics of setting up time delay.